fuck are we? Get out of the car now. What is this? You poked through that fucking gun again to meet your ass. Keep walking. Sit down. What the fuck is this? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Since we are gentlemen, we will let you choose who we kill first. If at the end of five seconds you have not decided between Barbara or Vanessa, we okay, will wait, kill them stop, both. Stop, stop, stop. Give me a minute, okay? Here, me, me. You can, you, you can kill, you can kill me. Or Barry, I can lead you to Barry. I know where Barry is. There's, there's gotta be something else you want, okay? I, the, the wand, I got the wand. It's in my closet at home. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Choose. <laughs> Jack, kill them both. Okay, wait, 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 I'll, I'll choose. I'll choose, I'll choose right now. I've been so eager to meet you. It appears that my friends and I share a common goal as you for the time being. Is that so? And what would that be? Why, to kill Dante Graves, of course. Ah, yes. Mr. Graves. The richest prize for any murdering psychopath. Yes. However, if my research is correct, you have a rather... Personal 
reason to see Mr. Graves dead and buried? If you want me to join this club, it's going to have to be under one condition. Name it. I've made a deal with the good doctor, and I'm sure we can work something out. I will give you any skills I have to offer, but my one condition is I get to kill Dante. I want him face to face. You, sir, have a deal. Under one condition. I need you to go on a little scavenger hunt for me. Graves has something in his possession of mine, and I need it back. Is that understood? If you do that for me, then Graves is all yours. <laughs> okay, so Barry, what kind of evidence did you get out in the woods? Uh, well, I heard some, like, bushes. Some, ooh, you know, not much of anything. This fucking guy, this what? quack, you absolute... Quack. Do I look like a fucking Dave guy? and I got the evidence of a lifetime. Video fucking proof. First time. Trail cams couldn't get it. We got it on the Dante Grave show. Video proof of a werewolf. I really? super kicked the werewolf. I moonsaulted over the werewolf. I fucking really? I about RKO'd this goddamn werewolf. Whole fucking fight scene. Dave, Dave, you got that footage, right? All that werewolf footage? Yeah, uh, I did not get that. What? Dave, <laughs> no, Dave, you're you're busting my balls. You're lying. No. Dave, Dave, what you. did you get? What did you get? I got the shit with the hand and the window and... You... Dave, tell me you got that footage. No, nah, man, that's all I got. I need a new fucking camera. You are, you are so fucking fired when we get home. I swear to God, I got three other Daves lined up right after you fuck stain. Making me look like a fucking joke. On my own fucking show. Is this the Dante Grave show? Last time I checked it is. It ain't the fucking fraudulent... McGoofy Steen show, which you clearly want it to be since you don't know how to push fucking record when I tell you to do it. Fuck. I'm fucking. Fuck. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you <laughs> fucking broke the door handle. I can, I can glue that. No, like, look, put your finger in there, push on that. So cut my finger off. No, push. Pushing that in there does something, I just don't know what. But it won't like go back in. Oh, I see what you mean. Let's see if the door still closes. Lock your car. Oh yeah, one second. I don't think it's important, because I've seen people drive without it. Okay. Your job is to cause a distraction, allowing me to enter the apartment and rob him blind. lives right there. Stay silent and unseen. Is it? It's Barry.
So this is what my daughter paid for. magician's trick. Mission accomplished. Let's go. Understood. How do you have an earpiece in? Wait, you don't even have an ears. Dante, are you here? <laughs> This is where Vanessa lives. Okay. Let's move. I can never take a cock that big. the TV. No, no, no. There was a noise outside. Maybe they're doing porn outside. Oh, seriously. I think there's something outside. Relax. It's probably nothing. Yeah. Nothing for you. But I'm the man here. And I, if it's a, a hobgoblin or something, I gotta go kick its ass. Seriously, it's 2021. I know how to fight. <laughs> Since when? Dante showed me some stuff a couple weekends ago just for precautions. Yeah, because that guy knows how to fight. Right, right. He kicked your ass, didn't he? No, I was dealing with some serious head trauma, and I was holding back. Relax, Grumpy, I'm just kidding. But you should invite him over, I think it'd be fun. Um, no. Dante is like a business colleague, and even that is being extremely generous. Oh, come on, Barry. He has like no real friends. Even Barbara tells me he's incredibly lonely deep down. Maybe the dude wouldn't be so lonely if he wasn't such an asshole. I think he's funny, you should just lighten up around him. I know you have started to depend on each other, and I think that's good for him and you. You showing your generous side is really sexy. Ugh! Barf! Let's move. What was that? Yeah, there's definitely something outside. I'm going to check. Oh. What was that? Guess it wasn't anything. Oh. 
All right, pussy face, let's go. Grab this slut and put her in the trunk of the car. Now! I'm sorry. Okay, Dave, if I can just find Barry, then... I don't know if he'll know what to do, but maybe, like, I'm gonna have to ask for the guy's help. That's all there is to it. <sighs> I just really need to find Dante. I woke up at Vanessa's house. She was gone. I was knocked out. The whole fight with Dr. Ragnar was kind of blurred. I do remember it. Uh, Barbara's fucking gone. I gotta go check out this salad bar, but it'd be really nice to have, like, that support on my side. But now that Vanessa's gone, I need to figure out if Dante can help me figure out where she's at. Uh, the stress of the day is really starting to set in on me. Hopefully everything's okay on his end and it's not too late for anything. You know, who knows? Uh, I don't know where he could be at. Wait, there's Dante. Oh shit, Dave, that was Barry. Just the guy I was looking for. Yeah, I was looking for you also. It was really a, a great coincidence that we happened to bump into right each other like that. Yeah. Vanessa's missing. I got into a fight right. with Dr. Arachnoid right. at her house. How was the date going? Before? It was good. Great date. Okay, that's cool. But there was like this weird noise outside. Mm -hmm. So I went out and checked it. And I went into the garage because it was wide open. It's never left open. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Arachnoid snuck up on me. And we started a fight. In Sucker the punched your ass. Yeah. He knocked me out. Wake up, Vanessa's gone. Yes. Okay, yes. well, so see, I, I dealt with something similar. Oh. I was just chilling at home, door knock. Mm -hmm. It sounded like you. It sounded like I you. thought you were at my place. So I was like, oh, what the fuck does Barry want? So I went and checked it out. Right. And uh, opened the door, fucking Jack Carver's there. Beats the shit out of me. Fucks up my apartment, knocks shit over. It's fucking crazy, okay? He fucking knocks me out right on the square. I wake up. Like right outside your house? Yes. Damn. I wake up like this morning, mm -hmm. you know, and I got this photo of the salad bar and like i think the one the, the, yeah the one okay. out the old salad bar that burned down right um so barbara was supposed to come to my house mm -hmm. shortly after the fact bunch of shit's gone 
Polaroid photo, it's definitely Oswald, but right. Jack and him fucking attack me at the same time. It's weird that they're working together. It's weird that they're working together, but you got attacked by Dr. Arachnoid. Right. I bet fucking the witch bitch out in the woods is orchestrating this shit against us. I bet they snagged Barbara. I bet they snagged Vanessa. I bet they're I bet they're coming at us from all fucking angles. Okay? Why would they take them, though? I, I don't know. I don't know what they want with them. Mm-hmm. However, if they really wanted to get it, if they wanted to kill them, mm-hmm. they would have just killed them then and there. Right. Okay? Yeah. But they abducted them. Maybe either sacrificial ritual, I don't know, but... What they're not going to see coming is the both of us at the same time. It's true. Okay? I have a plan. Okay? Spit it. The salad bar thing is most definitely a trap. So I'm going in well prepared knowing that that's a possibility. Okay. However, you remember the last Christmas, uh, Vanessa's name came up on the Chris Kringler's list? Yes. And we had to go find her? Right. Remember, we found her real quick. Do you know why? No. Because I have this thing on my phone okay. that a buddy of mine made for me. That uses satellites and GPS tracking. It just like siphons all sorts of fucking surveillance from all areas. Okay. Funnels it into this one app. Okay. Are you friends with Edward Snowden? No, but okay. I mean maybe this guy is. Oh. Okay. He he really knows his shit. Okay. It's like some fucking watchdogs type shit. Some insane hacker shit. Okay. okay? So he's he's also into like robotics and engineering and whatnot. So it plays in that. But so he made this thing. It's called the Dante Database. Okay. Now, when somebody comes up as, like, some supernatural shit's been happening to them, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, this person's clearly, like, you know, they're on notice. But if, some, if it happens, like, multiple times, right. this person is clearly jinxed. Vanessa, mm-hmm. it was, like, Dr. Arachnoid, Halloween, the witch abducts her, fucking she's on Chris Kringler's list. You know, like, she, she was clearly jinxed, right. okay? okay? So if they come up twice, I put them in the Dante database. I can punch their name in, and surveillance will tell me where they are. It's, it just started to be kind of convenient after I'd been doing this for a while. So Vanessa's name is on that list. They don't know that we have this. Mm-hmm. So we split up. I check out the salad bar. I send you the app. You use it. You go find Vanessa. Right. Because it's kind of shitty and rainy out, mm-hmm. it tends to struggle a little bit in the, in the shitty weather. Okay, okay, so it might take you a while. I'll send it to you right now on okay. my phone. You can start looking. I'll go check out the salad bar. If anything happens negatively, you call me. Gotcha. Okay, and gotcha. I'll call you vice versa. We'll keep in okay. touch. Good idea. Okay, Barry, I will see you later. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Good luck. You too. Okay. Also, the stakes have never been this high. Ever. What about the time that the witch was going to block out the sun for like all eternity? Okay. Okay. The stakes have never been higher besides possibly that one time. Okay. That's probably fair. I'll take your word for it. Right. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Where the fuck are we? Get out of the car now. What is this? If you poke through that fucking gun again, you're gonna get your ass. Keep walking. God damn it. What the fuck? What? What? You want. Sit down. What the fuck is this? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Since we are gentlemen, we will let you choose who we kill first. If at the end of five seconds you have not decided between Barbara or Vanessa, we okay, will wait. kill them Stop. both. Stop. Stop. Give me a minute. Okay. Here, me, me. You can, you, you can kill, you can kill me. Or Barry. I can lead you to Barry. I know where Barry is. Okay. Well, just give me a minute. There's, there's gotta be something else you want. Okay. I, the, the wand. I got the wand. It's in my closet at home. Five, four. Three, two, one. Shoes. Jack, kill them both. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'll, be, I'll choose. I'll choose. I'll choose right now. I'm sorry. Barbara. Oh, interesting choice, Mr. Graves. Jackie, have at it. Why are you doing this? What did I do to any of you? Fuck! No, fucking touch 
to me. If you fucking touch me again! Get in the trunk. Going in the trunk? You can fuck off. I figured you'd realize by now that I'm done playing around with you. Oh yeah, I want to know everything about you. Tell me everything. You want to know where it all began? Yeah. I'll show you. The urge to kill didn't strike me right after my daughter died. It was a slow tumbling fall into madness that brought me where I was. Life had not been kind to me in the days leading up to her possession. It had been downright cruel to me. My magician shows no longer supported my family. My wife quit supporting me. She thought the effort I put into being Oswald, the kid-friendly version, was stupid and futile. I was stubborn. I didn't want to quit. I loved what I did. It made people happy. At least, I hoped it did. But I neglected them, my wife and my daughter. I often think this neglect is what brought that demon upon her. My wife found him, Mr. Graves. She had heard about him from some incident at a school. She said he was an expert and that he could help our daughter. I accepted because the church had failed us, and I, I just wanted, wanted my, my family, family to be, be together, together again. The day he came to our home, I took a photo of him. I wanted to remember the occasion. I used to take a Polaroid for every major event in my life. This would be the final one of these photos. He brought his cameraman, Dave. He recorded the whole thing. That selfish, lying, fraud. He had no idea what he was doing. He hadn't even held a Bible until that very day. He said, It's, it's just, just reading a passage out of a book. How hard, hard could it be? be? Those were the only words I remember him speaking the whole day. After the incident, he, he exploded his career anyway. He became the paranormal investigator overnight. Before her, he had some minor success, working small jobs. But my daughter, she made his career his reputation. He, he owes everything, everything to her. But he has not once ever tried to pay it back to reach out to me. I am I'm done carrying this burden. burden. I am I'm done, done lugging around the constant pressure of daunting fucking, fucking graves. I am ready to kill him. This game has ceased being fun, and I wish to be freed from his agonizing existence. I have had opportunities before, many, many chances to kill him, but I have declined every time. And I finally know why. I don't merely want graves to be put in the ground. I want him to know why he is being put down. To be bested by the man he crossed. To learn a lesson for once in his lazy life. To know in death that he was wrong. And to feel his whole world crash down around him. I am going to kill Dante Graves.
seems that Dante and Oswald have some unfinished business. But there's no reason why you and I can't have some fun with our mutual friend, Vanessa. You listen here, you evil bitch. If you so much as touch her. No! You listen here, you little shit! You are in no position to make any demands for that matter. I will do as I damn well please with her, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. If I were you, I'd stay far away from my property. Otherwise, my son may be inclined to give Vanessa a quicker death. But if you try any stupid heroics, we will send Vanessa's mutilated corpse to the lowest pits of hell! Mr. Graves, this is the end. The final game. It's a simple one, so don't worry. Give me what I want, and you win the game. And if I lose? Then that's the end of the road. For who? Both of us. My road ends here either way. It always has. But it doesn't have to for you. And what is it that you want, Oswald? To kill Dante Graves. To feel the toxic life leave his body. To hear the last breath escape from his lungs. To know even in the afterlife, he still suffers. The fires of hell beckon you, Mr. Graves. They welcome you to your eternal damnation. I am the one tasked with delivering you there. Through me, you go into a city of weeping. Through me, you go into eternal pain. Through me, you go amongst the lost people.
Hope Dante's doing better than I am. Pumpkin spice. Vanessa. Jeez. Safe. All right. Just have to beat it out of you. Many people like you before. You're just another asshole, mad at the fucking world, wanting to blame somebody, okay? Just another guy wanting to explain away being such a fucked up psychopath because somebody was mean to him. <laughs> oh my dear delusional Dante, you have truly convinced yourself that you are in the right, that I am so much beneath you. It's worse than I thought. You are a sick, demented serial killer. You take photos of people you've killed and collect them like they're fucking Pokemon cards. What, I'm supposed to respect your fucking hustle? The fuck are you even thinking under that stupid fucking mask? That sword you were holding, where did you get it? Where did you get this? Or how about these? You are no better than me. You have your trophies and you found a profession that lets you take life, just as I have. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your daughter. I really am. But explain to me how that makes killing innocent people, fucking children even, like your daughter, makes any of this okay. 
you killing my daughter was merely the catalyst that showed me what you are. This has gone beyond what happened to her. I am doing the world a service by killing you. I kill because I am insane, an insanity of your own design. The world was cruel to me. You were cruel to me. I took my revenge. My, my design? A, a fucking accident? Years ago and it makes it okay to stab pregnant women to death? You, you fucking poor me, sob story maniac. I've heard this shit before from people much scarier than you. So if you would just fucking spare me the po-po and bullshit, let's get on with it. I'm ready to kill you and you're gonna be just another memory in a box full of shit that I couldn't care less about. You will regret those words when you are pissing your own blood with my sword driven through your stomach. You will be a prized photo in my collection. Oh yeah? Come get it! Is that all you got?
fuck, my wrist. Watch this. Oh, oh, are you going? I can't wait to see the look on your face when Barry tells you he let Vanessa die. Just like you let Barbara die. And just like you let my daughter die. I'll figure something out. What are you doing? Stop. Please. Please. No. No. You're a fucking liar. I am many things, Mr. Graves, but one thing I am not is a liar.
free to go, Barry. Thank you.